What's up everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Dirty Little Zelda Ocarina of Time. How is everybody doing today? In the last episode I got the heart piece of the um, somehow frozen Zora's domain. I got the hookshot, as you can see. And today I will be tackling um, the mini dungeon which supposedly should be done after the fire topple. But I'm gonna do it now just for the sake of it. So we're in the ice cavern, which is the ice dungeon. Really logically. Over here we got the strange red fire again. Or actually red ice. Which we saw earlier. And over here are some ice breathing stuffs. Just take them out. Just like that. One jump attack and a regular slash should be enough. So one. And two. Oh, and I got frozen. I got frozen, and I got frozen again, and that sucks. So one and two, and it's gone. And you notice that Navi is floating around here, being green. If you play the Song of Storms here, you get a big fairy, but I don't really need that. So what I'm gonna do instead is go on. I need three um, sculptures here, and which is new, there is a heart piece in this dungeon. Yeah, there is a heart piece. Well, these are silver rupees, they are 5 rupees each, and you need 5 of them in order to um, clear this room. So, take a look. There's one over here. And there's another one I got a thing, it's here. Yeah, and there is. And if you look up, there's sculpture number 1 of this dungeon, which makes your grand total 47 already, which is good. So, going through the newly opened door, we, let's see, we get more, um, what's, what's it called anyway? It's a Freezard. Yeah, really, really, really reminds you of Retard, but okay. Forget that, uh, reverence. So we're in this room, and the only thing you need to watch for are the, um, Ice keys up here. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, that's better. Oh, whoa, my god. One of those um, retards, freeze arts came up here. I can't believe I actually said that. Ah, that's filled. So let's see, can I take it out? Yes, I can. Now, there are three hearts here, which I, no, I don't need it, but it's okay. And over here we got this strange fire. This blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can use it for something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the bottled fairy. And get a three quarters of heart. Bro. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna catch this blue fire. And wait for this dude. Stop. That's better. And I am gonna unfreeze this chest because that's what blue fire is for. Blue fire counters red ice. Really logical. So what's in this big large chest? I wonder. Could it be the dungeon map? Could it? Yep, it's the dungeon map. And if we look at the dungeon... It's only one floor, as you can see we covered over half of the rooms already, so it's really small. It's really, really small. Anyways, I'm gonna ignore that, and I'm gonna go for this. And just in case I don't want to run out, I am gonna use the other bottled fairy as well. So, yay for no recovery, I didn't really need it, but okay, it doesn't matter. And that's my second bottle of blue fire. Cool. Ow, I got hit. But that's okay. Now let's go up here. One, two, and three. Climbing up. And we get one of those three zars again. This time I said it right. I didn't say retard. Way to go. And I'm here again. Well, if you look very closely, one of these places. Actually, is a door and it's over there. So what I'm gonna do? If I Wait a minute. Is this a door? Yeah, it's a door. 
Yeah, I can really clearly see it now. It's definitely in. Uh, well, it's not really a door, it's in passage. But you get the point. We can go in here right now. And take care of that. And let me see where I am right now. No, wait a minute. I'm not really going the correct way yet. I need to go here later, but not yet. So. Technically, the other one, as you can see, also is the passageway. And I needed to go to this one first. It's really sad that I don't have the compass yet. It would make things a lot easier. So anyways, in this room is another blue fire and keys. Keys, 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 keys. Hmm, I take this one. And did it just fly up? Please not. Nope. So it's gone. And as you can see, we can hear uh, Scotchla. So, where's the other bottle? That's better. Like that. So what I'm gonna do right now is go here, and there is the heart piece. I think it's the only dungeon in this game that actually has a heart piece inside. But there, or maybe the bottom of the wall, I don't really know that. Anyways, I don't really mind, I got another heart piece, and now I can pretty much get the Skultula, and go to the other side. But first, let me aim that, wait a minute, now that's me. Like that, so, one, and the other one. Saves me a lot of trouble killing those. So I am following the other chest and I got a feeling this must be the compass if this other chest was the dungeon map. So let's take a look and see if I'm right. And it's indeed the compass, which means I can now see where I am, if there's chests and anything like that. Which is good. So that's one and that's two. And now we will go to the room I previously went in. Ignoring all the stalactites, right? Yeah, stalactites that fell off the ceiling. Ow. Come on, come on, accelerate, accelerate. Don't be slow, don't be slow. That's better. Yeah. Mm, yes, this is the room. Well, the only thing you need to know here is... I believe it's up there. Can I kill it? Yes, I can. Can I get the token? Oh, whoops. I'll just do it like this and see if I can reach up there. There we go. We got our three Skulltulas. So all we need is the dungeon item. And I'm going to start off by pushing this one to the front. Climbing up here. And that's the first one. And damn it. Damn it. Can I, can I kill it? Like that. I'll just kill this one first. Hmm, there's one over there and I'm gonna push this block straight in. Gonna roll over. Gonna jump up. And do the same, and I'm gonna tall this silver rupee. Collecting silver rupees is a really nice money game, so... If you're low on money, definitely go here. Although I don't think it will work twice. Sadly. Now what you gotta do is push the block I said push the block, not climb on it. And push it in the hole. For a new block to generate. And I'm gonna... Ah, c come on. Take that. Asshole. Gonna get this push, and then I'm gonna get the third rookie. Which is up here. So, it's really obvious where we need to push this one. Straight that way. And I'm gonna see if I can jump up there. Yes, I can. And I'm gonna take this one out. Come on. Come on, fly towards me. That's better. And I should be able to get up here. Which means we can go there. Can I reach the blue fire? I hope I can. Hmm. Perhaps it would be better to not uh, backflip. 
Although I don't think I need another blue fire. No, I don't think I do. Hmm. Let's see if I can reach it still. Yeah, I can still reach it, so just for the sake of safety, I'm gonna take another blue fire with me. Alright, now the only thing I still need to do, which is really important, is getting the block in a position in which I can push it away. And I believe this one's really simple. Yeah, the one in Ganon's castle is a lot tougher though. So, yeah, that's a warning for like episode 50 plus or something, because I don't think I'm done with this game in a short moment. Having said that, we get another one of these freeze arts, and I'm gonna take it out. And there's another one. Yeah, that's better. And actually, I did need a second blue fire, so way to go for the safety issues. I actually got what I needed. Well, actually, as long as you can pass through, you don't really need to fall out all of these three. Now we get in a somewhat different room, and this wolf host is target of our death. And it only requires one hit for like no reason. It's really easy. Really, really easy. So, let's see what's in this chest. It must be the dungeon item. It cannot be else wise. So, let's take a look. It's the iron boot. So heavy you can't run, so heavy you can't float. So, this item, actually, this equipment, allows you to sink to the bottom of water. And this is really, 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 really needed in the water temple. But you'll see that in a few dungeons. And I'm like, oh my god, and... Whoa! It's Sheik again! How did she, or he, get here? We meet again, Particle. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. Really? With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of that curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river flow it never ends. The childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water service reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. Okay. Play the serenade of water. A, down, right, right, left. Seriously, the story about time flowing and people with ambition or something. Why did you even tell me that? Do I really need to know that? Anyways, we get a little bit of short cutscene. And this room, it's really special. I wonder why they made this room so much different than the other ones. And now we learned the Serenade of Water, which is the first out of six warping songs. And Technically, this song warps you to Lake Hylia, whether you're a child or an adult, so... I'll see you again. That's good. So I'm trying like to- Hey, wait a minute! And she used the Deconaut and he's gone. So, what I'm gonna do right now is use my iron boots. And this is what I mean, thinking. Though, if you wait for a moment... You can't breathe in the water. If you start choking, take off the boots. And we got one and a half minute to stay in the water. Which is easy for now, but the water temple later is a dungeon full of water. And logically, yeah, by the way. If you technically go there without Zora suit or anything else, or like a breathing mechanism or anything, you're pretty much gonna be screwed. So, yeah, we got no choice. We really need to get a Zora suit. But where? Anyways, we're out of the um, ice cavern and I am gonna cut it off. So in the next episode, I am gonna fall out the queen, queen, <coughs> the king of Zoras, 
and see what he has done. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>